All right, in our first problem today, we're looking at composite figures and we need to find the area of this particular shape. Now, we had three methods on the paper that you could try. You could try any of the three. They should get us the same answer. So I'm going to look at one of them and uh, we'll go through this step by step. So we've got three sections to worry about. So we've got area of the first rectangle. We have a second rectangle and a third rectangle. So ultimately, if I find the area of the rectangles and add them together, I'm going to get the total area of this composite figure. So as I mentioned, for area one, or the first rectangle, we're going to use length times width. We'll sub in seven centimeters for the length and three centimeters for the width. and multiplying those two dimensions we get 21 centimeters squared. For area 2 we're going to use length times width again noting that this 14 centimeters at the bottom is actually the length of the entire uh, shape so we're going to use our 8 centimeters from the top of this rectangle and we're going to have to determine what the length of the width is. Now since 7 centimeters is the length of this rectangle on the right and we know 4 centimeters is the length from this edge all the way to where the rectangle A2 meets then we can do some subtraction to note that this much must be 3 centimeters for our width. Multiplying 8 times 3 gives us 24 cubic centimeters. Our third rectangle is actually the same exact dimensions as our first rectangle, so we really don't need to do the area formula again, but I am showing it just so you understand where it did come from. And in our final step, we're going to find the total area by adding all three rectangles together. So as we can see here, by adding the three areas, we have a total area of 66 centimeters squared.